video is going to be foundation a day. It's going to be the second ever day that I've done this. And we are going to be covering the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination Cream. I have mine in the shade Light. I'm going to be wearing this all day long and doing daily check-ins, for or hourly check-ins, whatever you guys want to call it, for you guys. And by the end of the day, you'll be able to see how this foundation looks. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup. And then I'm going to show you me applying the makeup. Yada, yada, yada. I, this is just to, I want to try to use this foundation up this week. I don't know if that is something that will happen, but I'm going to try to use it up this week because I'm not going to declutter this. This is one of my favorite foundations. I do want to use it up though. But typically this series will be at the end of the day. I'll decide if I want to declutter it or not. Okay, so I have done quite a lot of work from where we started. Uh, Painting, so I'm gonna go over it with my it cosmetics CC plus illumination as I stated before I am in the shade light I almost said green. <laughs> I'm in the shade light And I'm gonna use this brush to apply it because I don't have a sponge I think I'm gonna buy a beauty blender next Thursday from Amazon because beauty blender sells their beauty blenders on Amazon for the same $20 price tag, but I don't know I just I feel like I want a good beauty blender again like I feel like I'm just getting in that stage of my life where I just want my beauty blender back like you don't need a beauty blender to do your makeup but I don't know I just feel like I want a beauty blender and it sells on Amazon so why not this is already like kind of like sputtering a little bit so that makes me very very hopeful that I will finish this one also by the end of the week which like I said it makes me happy to be able to say finished foundation but if not it's fine I will probably not do another foundation a day on it I but I definitely will feature it and I shot my stash again not anytime like soon but not soon I will definitely be using this foundation again is looking on camera. I am going to do uh, check-ins on my phone once I am done. I'm going to go ahead and apply the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the Ultra Creamy Concealer in the shade 8B Porcelain Beige. Okay, Porcelain Beige is what I said the shade name was. I'm just going to place this on my under eyes because I want to clean up some eyeshadow that was there. I have been liking putting my concealer like this. I did that with the Natasha Denona concealer, the High Glam concealer last week. I found that I found that I really liked this application because the no, Natasha Denona no. is very high glam. Ready airplane powder. I do know how this powder works. That's why I'm very very high lady right now. I'm bright, but that is that's where we're standing at. I'm gonna go finish my makeup. Guys, so here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, Mm, I'm finishing my makeup at 9.30. It's 9.26, so we're going to call starting time 9.30. So I'm hoping to make it to 5, 6, 7 o'clock with this makeup. That is the goal, is 5, 6, 7 o'clock check-in times. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I cannot wait to see you guys. Yes, I'm in pajamas. I don't care. I'm very cozy today. It's Sunday, and I have a lot of videos to film before I go back to work tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in... For you guys, it's a few minutes, but for for a few guys, for you guys, it's a few seconds. For me, it's a couple hours for some check-in time. I am gonna show you guys this makeup in natural lighting. I'm gonna show you guys it in the bathroom, and I'm gonna show you guys it on my phone because I am gonna be filming my check-ins on my phone because that's what I did with the Thrive one, and I really did enjoy that. I thought you could see the makeup a lot better. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it is 10:03, so it's been about an hour. Well, an hour, half an hour since I finished my makeup. This is what it looks like on my phone camera. I'm going to take you guys out in better lighting for sure throughout the day, but I feel really pretty today. I even texted my um, partner and I was like, I feel really pretty today. Don't know what it is, but I do feel very gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I watched The Little Mermaid with my kids today. Like, we just got done watching it, and I am, like, in my feels. I don't know what it is about that. Like, that movie just gets me in my feels. I love, like, the daddy-daughter, like, 
relationship is awesome because I don't know. It's awesome. My baby. I'm so like I don't know. Okay, it's 1044 and I wanted to try to do it in like natural lighting kind of, but I don't feel like going outside at the moment. So you guys can see that please don't pour those out everywhere. Um, the foundation is just a tiny bit dark for me, I think, but I can make it work. I definitely think uh, kids are going to go outside, so I'm going to go outside too. But I can make it work. I do like it. Like, it just might be a little bit too dewy. Just a little bit. Like, just on the little bit side. Like, just, but also remember, like, I use a lot of glowy base products. So I actually got alerted that Amazon said I'm getting packages delivered today, which is Sunday, which is weird. But if it is, if it happens, I will unbox on my phone. Am I? So that's gonna be exciting. All right, see you guys in a little bit. It's twelve, tw or it's eleven twenty-five actually, and I genuinely think my computer just died. Yeah. Um. Luckily, I have a backup computer. I have a really, really good computer, guys, where I live, so they can get everything that I need off of it. But I literally just went to open up my email and it goes ding and then it's black screen. This is the Kai bug. <laughs> Alright, so check in at 11.30. A little dewy right here for some people I think, but I like it. Also, it's definitely starting to wear off on my chin. Pores look good, no creasing on my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I feel like I look a little patchy right here, though. Let me know what you guys think. Kai, I'm not giving you no more candy. It's 11.30. You don't need it. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to do another check-in. It is 12.05. So, this is what the makeup looks like at the moment. I did eat. Amazon just dropped off some packages. So, the kids are outside playing at the moment. They got upset. I got them a little bubble blower. And they are in 7th heaven right now. <laughs> you can come here, buddy. Oh, I'm so happy to see the kids happy. I got some makeup also. I got the CoverGirl Essence Foundation, a Juvia's Place lipstick, the Pout Clout pin thingy from NYX. I feel really pretty today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's this foundation or if it's just like a combination of everything with this eye look and everything because I have been feeling my bust and green looks like this lately. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. This check-in. Um, the highlight is definitely like not being like I like. But it's there. It's there. Just feeling pretty and wanted to do a check-in. Especially since I just ate and the kids just got some stuff from Amazon. I said I thought I would unbox it, but I don't think I'm going to because it's already unboxed. But I do have a super goop order I have to do this week, so... Hey guys, 12.50 update. Uh, I didn't wait very, very long. Because Jackson is snuggling with me and I wanted to show it off. My little snuggle buddy. Um, but here's the foundation. It's definitely, like, I don't feel like my cheeks actually look the best. Like, to be completely honest, but I don't think that that's the foundation's fault. I just, like, I'm actually, like, pointing out, like, the bronzer blush. And highlight, let me know what you guys think. I just don't think that it lo looks the best, but foundation-wise, like, I don't feel like it looks bad around my nose. It's not settling into my smile lines. It did come off of my chest, chest my chin a little bit, but that's normal looks good on my forehead for me i like i like a dewy base like i like a glow i do want to point out i'm wearing the ardell aqua lashes in 341 i think is what the style is i really like these lashes compared to the other ones in this collection i really like this style for me i can't see where my natural lashes end and the false lashes start. Jackson wants to be a part of the camera. But I can't see where the false lashes end and the natural lashes start. Or the, you know, backwards. Where the natural lashes end and the false lashes start. It's very, they feel very lightweight. They just feel really, really nice. And I'm really glad to have this in my collection again for the next week, so. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. 
I straight up did not realize that I have not done an update in a couple of hours. It's actually 3 o'clock right now when I'm doing this update and I feel like maybe a little oily here but honestly it's not too bad to where I feel like I should blot but I definitely can. I've ate a little bit so this is coming off. Pores look good. I'm still not liking how my cheeks are looking to be completely honest but I like my eye makeup. So I mean, it's the cheek products. Nothing is in my smile lines yet, and like I said, we're at 3 o'clock, so this would be like 6 hour wear so far. So good. Alright, see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so I'm looking at my laptop. It's in front of me. It's 5.01, so this has officially been an 8 hour wear test. So, not settling into my smile lines that bad. It's definitely starting to. I feel like if I patted it out like this... It would be okay, but just, just, just barely starting to get into the lines. And I definitely have texture up close, but I think everybody has texture. Under eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape, it is, I think, starting to crease just maybe a little, little tiny, tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit at the eight hour mark. That's not actually that bad, and I have changed because I had to run next door to my neighbor and make sure she was okay with being an emergency contact because I need to update my kids as emergency contacts at the beginning of the school year. So, because Kai will be in pre-K. Kai will be in pre-K. That's crazy. But yeah, so that's what I had to do. That's why I went ahead and threw on a very appropriate turtleneck that I absolutely love because I'm warm and it kind of matches my green eyes. And my little gentleman right there, he brought my neighbor a flower, which is so sweet and very, very happy everything worked out with that, but I just wanted to give you guys that little update. I'm hopefully going to keep this makeup on a few more hours because I I finished all my other videos I wanted to film today. So I'm planning to keep this makeup on for another few hours and maybe play some video games. I don't know. Once the kids go to sleep. The time change? I don't know. I have no idea how that's working or going to work. Uh... I have a super dupe order I need to do this week too. I don't know if I told you guys that. Wish me luck. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so it is like 6.10. So we're going on 9 hours. Uh, Jackson fell asleep. <laughs> I don't know if I said that in my last uh, update. But he's now asleep. <laughs> and Mommy is watching Loki. Season 2. And Kai's watching Blue still. But this is the update for, what is it, we're at nine hours? Nine hours wearing this makeup. I don't like the cheek makeup at all. Like, I don't like it at all. Like, the more I wear it, the more I'm like, I don't like that. I did have a little bit of, like, watering right here on this eye. I don't really know why, but if the makeup right there is messed up, that's why. Let's see. Still, like, very tiny bit of creasing, I would say. This is starting to crease. My next check-in, we will blot my forehead. And chin makeup is, like, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so it's 6.30. My Kai bug is asleep. My Jackson is asleep. I'm about to move my Jackson to his bed. But I wanted to go ahead and blot my forehead because it's kind of oily I guess for some people it's not really that bad in my opinion like for it being nine hours it's not really that bad so I do have the Jeffree Star powder I broke the pop socket on this so it doesn't because I broke the pop socket mm -hmm. will that hold you up well, I'm just grabbing a paper from this. I cannot wait to have a different one. So, I'm not really a fan of these Jeffree Star powders. I'm not like blotting papers. Like, it actually did take away some of the oil, not a lot, like maybe 
guys could see more than what I'm seeing, but like I like that kind of like gooey luminous like glow that it was just had on my forehead. But it's definitely it's still luminous, it's not as much. Like I don't know if you can really see. It's not that bad though. Okay guys, so I made it to 7.30 before I am deciding to go ahead and take the makeup off. So that's like what, 10 hours? So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good wear test. Like I said, I'm not really liking the cheek products, but I don't think that I can blame that on my foundation to be completely honest. But after 10 hours, look at this. Not really anything on the smile lines. The chin is gone, that's normal for me. Look at this. There's no creasing really with the concealer. And then the dew is kind of like what I really, really like for a foundation. So all in all, I love this foundation. I'm not going to declutter it. I am hoping that I can finish it this week. So we shall see. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.